Welcome back to On The Road channel. Today we are reviewing some Lomo bags that were sent to us by Lomo. And this, we're gonna put this on crash bars, but I guess you could put them anywhere you need them. So we've used these on previous bikes before. Um, and so we know these to be good and we're, we, you know, we're really confident and uh, can recommend these to you before we've even used them. So these are the Lomo crash bar dry bags. They are completely waterproof. They're made of this thick PVC material. Um, we know that they're hard wearing. So all of the attachments and um, straps and stuff on these bags are actually what they call RF welded on. But basically to me and you, this means that they're not stitched on through the bags. So that doesn't create lots of holes in there, further improving the fact that these are waterproof. They can be fitted to the crash bars, any crash bars. There's different options for the straps on the back. So you're basically gonna make this fit as you need to really. Ideally, run the crash bar up through the loops on the back. There's a nice padded area on the back, so that's gonna stop any marks or scratches. These bags are 6.5 litres each, giving you a total of 13 litres extra capacity. They are about 29 centimetres high. They are about 21 centimetres wide and about 14 deep. Plenty enough room to get your waterproofs, trousers and bottom in one side, and like I say, tools and bits and pieces in the other. The bags cost $39.95. You get these from the Lomo website. We'll leave a link for you in the description below. Um, and you, you can also get these from Amazon as well. Pretty good deal if you ask me. For that money, you can't complain. I mean, you know, like I say, we have used these before, uh, these crash bar bags. Lomo do a range of bags. So they do some uh, roll bags and some larger ones and side panties and stuff. Hopefully we'll show you those in time. Um, but like I say, we have used these before and, you know, they are fantastic. So let's take a closer look at this bag then. So we can see we have the clips each side, one over the top, and it is a roll top bag. So put your bits and pieces in, you're going to roll it down a couple of times, and then simply connect that clips. So we take a look at the back here. So this is where you're going to create the loops. You're going to have your crash bars going up through here. But like I say, however you make this work is absolutely fine. We have this large padded area here to stop any marks. And Lomo have designed these specifically for motorcycles. And one of the things that I like about this is that it's all adjustable, pull it tight. But you don't have things flapping around because they put these handy little clips on there. So all these flappy bits of straps are out of the way and aren't flapping around in the wind. Right, so that's a quick look at the bags then. So uh, we'll throw them on the bike and uh, have a look to see what they look like. Coincidentally, we had some friends turn up just now um, on their bikes and another girl had Africa Twin and um, another friend had the CB500 and we'll just show you those now. So as you can see, these bags are fitted to their bikes and uh, they look fantastic. So you can fit these to almost any bike and uh, they look really great because of the simple design. Also, they come in different sizes. I guess one of yeah, our yeah. friends had the he had the large, the large ones, one. He? I think this one is. Um, so these are six and a half liters each, and I believe his were thirteen liters each. Yeah. So that was the medium size, and then they do a, a much larger size for the uh, the rear panniers. Yes. But hopefully, we'll show you all of those in time. Yeah. So there is options, and so you can make it fit for your bike, whatever you need, and whatever your needs are. Right, so we'll, uh, we'll just throw these on the bike and then we'll show you uh, how we've attached it and uh, what they look like put on my bike. So these Lomo crash bar bags, they are what you would call a universal product. And so the fitting of these is going to be different for each bike and different uh, crash bars. So as you can see, I've got the SW Motec crash bars here. But my plan is I have these two more vertical parts here. And I plan to put the bars through these gaps here. So what we need to do is undo these straps, pull that down through so that we can thread them round into the bars on here. So it's going to be tricky to show you, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But you will need to figure this out for yourself, really. But you just need to get them on, pull them on tight, make sure it's fit securely. So all I've done is undo here from these clips, and then you can see how this comes through another loop on the side here so I can pull that one out 
and then it attaches through the back here so I'll pull it out from there so you can see that I'm going to put this on the bar through the bar and then back through the center one and that's going to pull that tight against the bar and then I'm going to do the same with this one so through the bar and it's going to pull it on tight onto the bike through the side and then we reattach here at this buckle here and then we're going to do the same for the bottom okay so that is one crash bar bag fitted took her all of five minutes now we just need to repeat on the other side i don't need to show you the same thing again so you can find these bags on the lomo website or you can click the Amazon link that we have below. Highly recommended. These are only costing $39.95 for the pair. Um, you know, completely waterproof. I think they look fantastic on the bike as well, and they seem to look good on all bikes. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this product. So thanks for joining us. Any questions or any comments, leave in the link below, and we'll see you again next time.